it was a carefree, carefree way of life. We, we lived in bathing suits. You know that television program, Happy Days? <laughs> That's what they were, Happy Days. Fort Walton Beach has a rich and fascinating history, full of amazing stories, charming folklore, and heartwarming anecdotes, some of which you may not even be aware of. Our beautiful city's history holds ties to a unique Native American culture, a signer to the Declaration of Independence, stories of pirate ghosts, buried Civil War cannons, and even a Hollywood touch. This film tells the story of this great city from the first Native American inhabitants. There is evidence of them being here about 10 to 12,000 years ago. To the formation of Camp Walton. And their sole job was to sit here uh, and watch the sound and to make sure there wasn't a surprise attack coming from the wrong direction. And the famous story of John T. Brooks growing up to our shores over 150 years ago. With the emergence of the grand hotels, the great coastal highway, and the little Las Vegas of Florida, this sheltered slice of Florida's coast began to grow. This little place that had more neon than they had ever even seen in New Orleans. Presented through first-hand accounts by many of those who lived it amusing tales and one time the bell started ringing my aunt would always drive and she opens the door and jumps out of the car and the car is still running the bridge is not opening they're not going to open up with her on the bridge. <laughs> and little known facts al capone i can remember they said we'd come here and stay you know when things were getting too hot for him bring us from the prehistoric through the modern era as we visit the historic landmarks and icons that have shaped this coastal community. As little kids, we could walk down the main street. Oh, it was just, you know, life was just very simple. Fort Walton Beach holds a history that longs to be told. To get anywhere, you had to go by boat. He went yelling to everybody that he thought he had found uh, Billy Bowleg's treasure. Paying a, a quarter to see the Saturday afternoon double feature. At the, at the Trangus Theater. But I remember the water park that was on Oakland's Island. Uh, if I remember right, it would have three slides. Santa Rosa Mall on Friday nights. That was the hangout spot. You'd go to the arcade, you'd go to the food court. Aladdin's Castle, a Diamond Gems. It is one of the biggest small places that we've ever been. Gosh, some of the happiest, the happiest years of my life. I think if it Walt Beach gets in your blood, it stays in your blood. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the history of Fort Walton Beach, a tale of one of Florida's biggest small places.